Welcome to the Design It Video Learning Library. In this particular tutorial, we will be working in the standard garment styling section of the program to create a summer short sleeve lacy top. You're in the standard garment styling section of the program now. There are two ways that we can proceed. First, we can select File, New, and Designing It will step us through a series of windows collecting information needed to create our garment. The second is, is to save file thumbnails, which brings up our thumbnails directory so that we can see which garment shape we want to open. And the third way we can do is we can load up one of the last five garments that we have used. And I'm going to say this tunic shape is the one I'm going to open. Now, this is not a short sleeve top, but we're going to full design it into making it into a top for us. The first thing that I want to do, though, is I want to say for the body, I want, I want to have the welt or ribbing, which is this part right here, off. The shoulder drop is, is I'm going to change this to 2.5, a little bit, you can see here, a little bit more, apply this, and you can see this has been moved just gently and that the ribbing has been taken off. The next thing is the neckline and I want to take the neck band off okay and then I also want to take the cuff off of the sleeves zero okay so now it's getting closer to what we want but we still need to make some styling changes. The next thing that we want to do is we want to fool designing it into making a few changes for us. The first thing is an easy change this is the select garment type here and I'm going to save these changes yes and the select garment type I would like is I would like to change the sleeve to a set in sleeve okay this says it's a significant change and requires a new set of ease figures okay to do this still casual ease and now it's done the ease for me and recalculated it so that it works perfectly for a set in sleeve the next thing to do to full design it into making a summer top is to use this body measurements button right here. This brings up the body measurements window. We want the nape to garment length to be a little bit longer to be 79. This is approximately 31 inches length for a tunic length top. The armhole length I'm going to change from 58.4 to 25. So it's short little stubby top and we want the upper arm measurement to remain the same. The wrist is too small to be on the upper arm range so I'm going to change this to 29.5 to match the upper arm and also I'm going to match the ease for this upper arm and we can see we have casual ease here okay to continue and now I have a summer top with set in sleeves that's ready to go tunic length and it's going to have pico edges crocheted on the sleeves and on the bottom of the garment and also around the neckline. So this is ready to go and so I'm going to say file save as short sleeve top okay and we can make another top. We finished this top we love it and now let's do one more change let's go into here body type select body type this is the garment type and we're going to make this a cardigan now okay to continue we still have set in sleeves but now we have a cardigan and we want to look on our body measurements and it says overlap that's this part right here this is 5.1 centimeters if you want to have this overlap so you have a button band that's fine but for this particular garment it's, it's all crocheted pico edges and it's going to have the edge can, continued up crocheted up here as well so I'm going to say okay and it's adjusted this so that they just meet up nicely. So we've created two short sleeve summer tops and we're ready to go with a nice lacy pattern. We're going to say file, save as, and it's going to be this short sleeve top except we're going to call it a one. So now we have two short sleeve tops, okay. And the final thing to do this is in hand knitting. We want to say, we want to make sure that we've put in our tensions and we want to change the tensions to be 28 stitches and 40 rows per 10 centimeters and this was knit on a hand needles with needle size 8 okay so now we put in our tension we've got a garment that's going to fit us well for the summer and then I'm going to say file and save this one more time so it saves the tensions 
and then I'm going to say file and print. For this particular garment, you have a front right and a front left, a back and it's two sleeves, and I would print this out as garment text, which prints out a line by line instructions for your entire garment in a magazine style format that you would see in print. Thank you.